We are closing out Mental Health Awareness Month with a story of strength and resilience from a member of our very own CBS News family. Producer Adam Zelens has worked at CBS Morning since 2015 and is a major part of our team, our staff here. And two years ago, he survived a violent assault on a New York City sidewalk. For the first time, Adam is publicly sharing his story about exactly what happened that day. And in an essay he wrote for us, he details his mental and physical recovery. For nearly two years, I was lost. I felt detached from my identity and detached from reality. 28 with 24 stitches along my jawline, I was stitched to my trauma. On May 30th, 2021, I was assaulted. I was attacked on Fifth Avenue. It was drizzly, gray, and quiet. Two assailants surrounded me. I cried for help. My voice carried away with the wind. I was left silenced. I fell to the ground, skin hitting hard stone, my personhood crushed by the assault. I summoned the strength to lift myself off the ground. A decision, fight or flight. I ran. The assailants fled. In that moment, the rain washing off my skin and body, I looked down to see the sidewalk, watercolored and red dye. I got myself to an emergency room. Nurses wrapped me in towels. It was then that I learned my face was slashed. The human mind is a fragile thing, fickle, but also protective. I have no memory of the slash to my face. I was diagnosed with PTSD, working with a psychiatrist, a therapist, and even a plastic surgeon. I was terrified and easily triggered by cars honking, by an approaching subway, by the cacophony of city construction. I retreated from reality, from family, from friends, from work. I began to live in an isolation I created and felt myself descending into it. I had to remind myself, you are brave, you are courageous, you are filled with pride. I felt strangers' eyes trailing along my jawline, peering into my most traumatic moment I sought to memorialize my new self. I found a photographer for a portrait session. I needed to reintroduce myself to the world. I needed to reintroduce myself to me. But despite this, I was resentful, jealous of the normalcy around me. I sought release. I sought relief. I sought joy. I read and read and read. Didion. Capote, Efron, 200 books in 2021, 185 in 2022. Amidst searching bookshelves, I was really seeking a distraction, searching for a story that wasn't my own. I began walking across Manhattan 10 miles became 12 miles, became 19 miles. I witnessed daily changes to the city around me, hoping I too could create my own change. Every step was healing. Every day was a step toward progress. The assailants. I worked to remove them from my daily battles. I testified twice before a grand jury, crying through my story. I looked out before me, the jury crying too. Even as I'm here now at the site of my assault, I feel the stress and anxiety and heart palpitations that I felt two years ago. And I'm reminded that the sacred space is now a part of me and who I am today. Long ago, the blood washed away. Fifth Avenue is no longer haunting. Each year, I find beauty in myself. I find beauty in my strength. (music) 
I remind myself, progress isn't always linear. I am the architect of my own healing, rebuilding myself, returning to work, traveling with family, morning runs through Central Park, and yes, I continue to read even more books. I found myself, and you know what? I really like who I see in the mirror. I found resilience. Resilience, a word initially a stranger to my lips. Me, resilient? I'm resilient. Once I was knocked down, but today I stand tall. Stand wow. tall, Adam. Yeah. Stand tall. I mean, we knew he was a talented producer. I didn't know quite such a beautiful writer as well. Uh, before we get into more reaction, we should mm -hmm. say that if you or someone you know is seeking mental health resources, you can call the National Alliance on Mental Health Helpline 1-800-950-6264 or in a crisis text helpline to 62640. But let's talk Adam Zeelands because that is a beautiful piece of writing he just put together there. And it was so brave of him to also share his story. I mean, you think about how one moment of being in the wrong place at the wrong time can shape so many things in his life. But I love that he said he is the architect of my own healing mm -hmm. and the picture and epitome of resilience and how he has continued and, and reading so many stories to be able to define his own too. I think we can all take something from that. He said, I found beauty in myself, beauty in my strength. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I took away that he also found beauty in that scar. Yes. And we all can do that. Yes. We all can find beauty in our scars, whether they're the scars that people see or the ones that we hide. That's well said. It's a beautiful thing, Adam. Shout out to Adam. Well done.